So now that you've done your practical and you've presented your results, you need to find out how to write a good conclusion. So what we do is we follow this point, evidence and explain method. Now we start with point. Write the point you want to make. So it'll probably be the pattern or the trend, so what happened in your practical. Once you've done this, you need to use evidence from your results to prove the point that you've made. Once you've got the evidence for your point, you now need to try and explain it. So this takes a bit of thinking. Usually you can look back into the lesson that you've just done and that will help you. Sometimes you might need to look up some of the information a little bit more yourself to get the right answer. So what you have to then do is try and explain the science behind what has happened in your practical. So what could you conclude from the results on the left? Well this is a practical here that has looked at the effect of balloon shape on, on the distance that it travels. So on the y-axis there's the distance in meters traveled plotted and on the x-axis there's the shape of the balloon. And it's a bar chart because these things aren't related. So blunt balloon, slightly pointed, pointy and very pointy. I'm going to give you a few seconds now to try and decide what you think has happened in this practical. Okay, well here we can see that the trend is that the pointy balloon has traveled the furthest. The blunt balloon has traveled the least distance. Slightly pointy and very pointy have traveled further than a blunt balloon but they haven't gone quite as far as the pointy balloon. So we can use the evidence from this results uh, from this graph to describe that. And you could look in your results table if you want to get specific figures from it. Now we need to try and explain why that might have happened. Now you may not have done the science behind this, but it could be to do with the shape of the balloon and something called air resistance as it moves through the air. It's interesting that the very pointy balloon hasn't gone as far as the pointy one, so that might be something that you could think about doing in a follow-up practical.